Hi there. Ever heard someone say actuarial science and immediately felt your brain take a nap? Yeah, you are not alone. But today, we are going to crack the actuarial mystery. I promise. No math nightmares, just plain English. We will cover three big ideas related to insurance products. Payback period, non-guaranteed bonus, and the law of large numbers. You may wonder, why we are talking about insurance? What is linkage with actuarial science? Actuarial science is about using data and statistics to manage risks, especially lifetime uncertainties like illness and accidents. Insurance is the key to protect us from these risks, and actuaries work behind the scenes to make sure these protections are fair, sustainable, and effective. If you are an actuarial expert, you probably know these ideas well. However, I believe this shouldn't only be understood by professionals. Everyone needs insurance during our lifetime. So, it is meaningful for laymen to understand actuarial science. Let's go! Think of the payback period like loaning your friend money and asking, when will I get this back? Only in insurance. You are not loaning money. You are paying premiums. Let's say you pay $1,000 a year into a policy. If the total benefits you eventually receive equal your contributions by year 10, then your payback period is 10 years. There is a clear discrepancy between participating and non-participating products. Participating policies let policyholders share the insurer's surplus through bonus or dividend. If investment returns are favorable, this can shorten the payback period. On the other hand, non-participating products usually offer fixed and guaranteed benefits without profit sharing. That means a steadier but longer payback period. A non-guaranteed bonus is like your boss saying, you might get a year-end bonus if business is good. It's based on business performance, not a promise. Just maybe. Let's say an insurer earns 200% of expected profit one year, then suffers a severe loss the next year. Would the bonus fluctuate significantly? Fortunately, not a must. This moving mechanism helps. In good years with favorable returns, not all profits are paid out. Some go into a surplus fund during poor investment years. The previously held back profits are released to maintain bonus payout. In this way, we could avoid roller coaster effect felt by the customers. Let me give you a bit more comfort. Actuaries don't set the bonus payout randomly. There are professional guidelines and regulations to protect policyholders. Bonus should be fair equitable, and aligned with the policyholders' reasonable expectations. So, the bonus usually won't deviate tremendously from what was stated on illustration at the point of sales. This may sound magic, but it's actually the secret that makes insurance work. If you flip a coin, the chance of getting ahead is simply 50%. Flip it 5 times, you might get 5 heads. Weird, but possible. Flip it 5,000 times, you'll likely get has around 50% of the time. That's the law of large numbers. Insurance companies use this to predict risk. One person getting sick? Unpredictable. But thousands of people? Patterns emerge. That helps actually set fair prices to make sure everyone is covered and the company stays afloat. Thank you for watching this video. Finally, I would like to share a bit about my actuarial journey. I've gone through internships, tackled actuarial exams, and worked across different actuarial functions. These experiences helped me grow technically and understand how actuarial work contributes to society. With this foundation, I am passionate about giving back to the community that nurtured my career, whether through professional development or by engaging more people to understand actuarial science. Thank you.